Support forwarding is used to make your LAN server into an online server where anyone with internet access can join. You can limit that in Minecraft with a whitelist, so people need your IP and they have to be whitelisted to join your server. In Unturned, on the other hand, you can limit that with a password, which we set up in server config in a previous video. Anyway, let's get started. So here on our desktop, we want to go over to our Windows search bar and type in CMD. This will bring up our command prompt. Here we want to type in ipconfig. This stuff is pretty personal, so you don't want to share it with anybody. What we're looking for is the number listed under default gateway. We will take this number, copy it, go over to Google, and paste it into our search bar. Now it will ask for a username and password. Sometimes yours might not, but this is where you put in your router username and password. Now if you don't know your username or password, you can usually look it up on the internet to find your specific router model. That'll give you your default password for that router. You can also check the physical back of your router to see if anything is listed there. Now once you're in your router controls, this is where you want to look through all your settings to try to find something called port forwarding or triggering. Mine is under the advanced tab. And if you go to advanced setup and port forwarding or triggering. Here I already have two ports that are open. These are for servers I currently have online. So what you want to do is click add custom service. For service name, you could put whatever you want. For external starting port and ending port, that depends on the game you're hosting. For Minecraft, it's 25565 for both. And for unturned, it's 27015 for starting and 27017 for ending. Now for internal IP address, it might give you the full IP, but sometimes it may ask you to put the last few digits. To find the last few digits, you can go over to your command prompt, look at your IPv4 address, and it'll be the last digits after the last period. So you take those, you copy it, and then you paste them here. And when you have that done, you can click apply and it'll open your port. Now you don't want to keep your ports open for too long because it's usually not too secure. So after you're done hosting, make sure you close these. You can do that just by clicking it and delete service. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope that helped. I'll see you guys in the next one.